Okay, question four on this uh, unit three mod, and this is uh, an algebra question, so we've got some equations and some inequalities. So let's look at this first one first, part A. Are we going to solve this equation? Well, whenever I see this, there's a couple of things you can do, but whenever I see these, I usually expand the brackets first. It's a, a common start point. So 7x minus 28 equals 35. I hope you can see how I've expanded that bracket. 7 times x, 7 times minus 4. Then I am going to add 28 to both sides. Doing the opposite of minus 28. 7x equals uh, 50, 63. And then I'm going to divide by 7. So x is equal to 63 divided by 7, which is 9. So my answer is 9 for 2 marks. If we look at the next part of the question, it gives us some information. It tells us this is an inequality, and that tells us the value of n, our integer, a whole number, is between minus 3 and 4. So we need to write down all the whole numbers that are between minus 3 and 4, not including 4, but including minus 3, because we've got this extra little line. So these arrows mean it's between minus 3 and 4, but we're allowed to take minus 3 as well because of the extra little line. So we can write them down straight away. So it's minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then I stop because I'm not allowed to take 4. The only integer I'm allowed to take, I'm allowed to take all values up to 3.9, 3.99, 3.99999, etc. All, but I'm not allowed to, all the way up to 4, but not including 4. But as I'm asked for integers, that only the whole number bit, I can only go to 3. And then at the bottom, we've got to solve an inequality now. Well, basically, it works like this. If you've got the inequality of 5x plus, or you had the equation, 5x plus 3 is equal to 3x minus 11, I would solve this equation, and then I would turn it back into an inequality. So a bit like the one at the top. Let's solve this. Well, I'm going to take away 3x on both sides. So I get... 2x plus 3 equals minus 11. Now I'm going to take away 3 from both sides to do the opposite of this. 2x is equal to minus 14. And therefore I'm going to halve everything or divide it by 2. x is equal to minus 7. So that would be if I had the answer as an equation. But because I've got an inequality, I just return the same symbol back. That I had before, so x has got to be bigger than minus 7. Pretend it's an equation, solve it with an equals, and then put the same symbol back in at the end. So there's kind of six algebra questions there. Go back over them if you need to.